Hi traders and welcome to my crypto watch layout video. So in today's video, I'm going to go over how to get my crypto watch layout, which looks like this, as you can see. Um, I've had a few commenters asking how to do that because they don't really like the default crypto watch layout. So this is just going to be a quick two minute video on how to get this layout. So the first thing that we're going to do is to disable all of this right here, except volume. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to overlays and I'm going to just get off all these, go to uh, indicators, which is right here. I'm going to get rid of MACD and I like to change my volume to a 10, a 10 moving average. Uh, settings, I'm going to disable these two. And then a watch list is what, I, is what I usually do after that. And I don't like to have other exchanges on my watch list, so I disable all those. So that only my two that uh, my two exchanges are uh, being watched. So I like to star uh, Gemini. So I'm going to star that, uh, and then also Bitcoin for Gemini too, because that's my exchange. And then that's basically my setup. That's all there really is to it. Uh, I like to always have span at the top bar so that I can see the entire market and the uh, depth chart. And I also like to go full screen because that actually, if you go full screen on your window it shows more volume um, so I would recommend that too one last thing is that uh, one thing that you could also play with is this the scroll zoom sensitivity I like to put at 300 because I don't like when um, 500 I think is too sensitive when I move stuff around so I think 300 is a great value and then also if you want to you can um, make your order book refresh a little quicker so that you have um, quicker access to the market. If you want to, you can make this like 200, 300. But if you do do that, then like this, then um, it'll probably, yeah, it's gonna use a lot of CPU. Uh, it's gonna use a lot of processing. And unless you have a really strong Wi-Fi, I don't think you're gonna be able to put that that low without your window like crashing or something. So I just like to keep that at 500, it's fine. Then just one more aesthetic thing is I like to have snap at 15 and extrapolate by default. So extrapolate by default just means that whenever I draw a line, it, uh, it draws the whole line extended forwards and backwards. And uh, snap is when I draw. So like, let's say I do this, it connects to this cause that's it snapping. So I don't like to have that really high cause I like to draw things away from candlesticks sometimes. So yeah, that's it for just today's video and just showing you guys how I get my setup. Um, and I also usually like to put an MFI as well. Uh, if you want to as well, you can. I have a lot of videos on how to use MFI. But this is basically my, my setup usually. Um, yeah, if you have any questions about uh, CryptoWatch layout or any indicators you want to use or settings, uh, leave a comment. Thanks for watching.